Hey kids, OCD Mikey here, reporting live from the uh, chicken coop, and uh, it's true, it is true, us audiophiles cook our cables before we put them in the rig, and then we do periodically throughout the time that we listen as well. What does this mean? Do we throw them in a spaghetti pot and boil them up? Almost. We've got something that we uh, that a few people make. There's only a couple companies that make these machines, and they're little electronic uh, boxes that uh, plug into the wall, and then they send different kind of of uh, like pulses and so forth, and sweeps and things that um, in using voltages that normally like you'd use you'd never use that much volts in a say interconnect. Um, a power cord would never have those kind of you know ups and downs and uh, you know of different frequencies. So it takes the cord into areas that it normally would not go you know as it's being used. And so it, it, it enhances the break in. It does not replace break in. It does enhance it however and it, it, it really can be it can make a big difference. Um, and it sounds so kooky that I decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and do a comparison and take a video and show you guys that um, what the difference is. So I grabbed two uh, Grand Illusions, uh, the, the, the statements that I had just made. One of them I went onto the uh, cable cooker for four days. It, it ended up four days. Um, and one of them did not at all. And so we're going to play them here and give you two snips of... A, so a sound bite of both of them, each of them, and uh, you tell me if you think it makes a difference. Um, but uh, it's pretty wild. So, and then and uh, the the cable cooker that I use is called an Audio Dharma cable cooker. You can find it online. Guy named Alan um, Kafton, very good guy. He really knows his stuff, and he's the man that makes these things. So, you can contact him and buy one should you want to uh, have one of these. Usually all, we, we all have one of our own and we cook our own cables uh, periodically um, because I sell cables. I cook mine before uh, I, I send any out <clears throat> as good measure. Just make sure they uh, are, are somewhat uh, conditioned before they go out to their new owner. So um, anyways, just wanted to share this with you guys and we will see you later. Okay, so this piece here is going to be I'm going to show, we're going to look at the difference uh, between a cable that's cooked and a cable that's not cooked. Um, and I'll go into more of that later. But um, the first one we're going to listen to is a cable that has just been made and has not been put on the cable cooker. We're going to listen to like one minute and then we'll listen to the next one. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to go swap out the power cord that's on the DAC. I'm going to put this one in. This one's been cooked, so hold on. Here's with the identical cable, same volume, everything, just cooked cable. Only difference. <laughs> Thank you. 
Huh. That's kind of cool. I can't wait to go back and listen to those two and compare them. But it sounded more open to me. I mean, it's just one giant sonic hologram in here right now. I mean, music is just popping out of thin air and all different spaces in the room uh, with no um, sort of um, relation to the speakers at all. Um, it's just out in the room. And it's really, really, really... Um, you can hear uh, some. Some of you guys will know what I mean when 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 I say you can hear behind the music. You can hear around it. You know, not only can you just hear it facing you, but it's 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 orb shaped, and you can hear around it. Um, people, some people will know exactly what I mean. Um, I love it when it gets there. Um, and uh, so yeah, it sounds it sounds really good. Um, in fact, what I think it's telling me is that I've got one hell of a contender. This new power cord that I made. I don't think, I don't, can't remember if I showed you guys comparatively to the older ones. Okay, so the older ones I think I showed you was like, right, like this. Kind of see, like, um, they were weaved, you know. Um, this is another version of that. Like this one that was, you know, it's like this thick. You can see, like that. Well, the new one, look at this puppy. Look at that thing. Oh. That is killer. That is killer. This thing is unbelievable. Um, this thing's killing the other chords. Um, it, 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 you saw what it did with the $12,000 Stage 3. Um, and so I'm charging, or I'm, I'm, I'm cooking the Stage 3 right now. I've given it three days. By tonight, it'll have three days of cooking on it. So I can pull it out, wrestle that thing back into my rig, because it's a pain in the ass to put that thing in the rig. Boy, I'll tell you, it's 17 pounds. It's a pain. I hate putting it in the rig. It really pisses me off. The only way that thing is worth it is if it just crushes my cords. Then it's worth all that pain in the ass moving it around. Because I'm telling you, uh, I don't like that. Um, it, 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 and again, it, it's, it's quiet cable. But I'd rather have open. So um, there you have it. We just witnessed the difference between a cooked and an uncooked cable. Um, I could hear it. Um, I think I could. That's why I love going back on these recordings to check and, and play them back. Um, and if you don't remember, I don't know if some of you guys are just coming, um, go into the time code section, into the description um, of, of the YouTube video, and then um, go to the, I'll have time code and numbers in there, and you just hover over the numbers and click on them, and you'll avoid all this talking, and you'll just go right to the sound clips. Here is what I use to cook. Hang on. Here is what I use to cook. It's an Audio Dharma cable cooker 3.5. Um, and these little puppies are <laughs> pretty effective, man. Um, I've never done an AB like that. I just knew that they did something, so I bought one to do it to all, all my cables before I ship it out. And you can see, here's the stage three. They've been sitting here for, you know, three days, basically. Almost three days. And just to, doing both the speaker cables and those power cords daisy-chained into one another. So that way, we can give the... Uh, the power cords, uh, the 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 twelve thousand dollar power cord, there a fair chance it beat my thirty five hundred dollar power cord, which to me um, I like a lot better. Um, so, anyways, let's uh, let's see what it does. And thanks for joining. See you.